Hello, good morning. My name is Victoria Baylor, and I'm excited to bring you another personal branding tip for today. I am, if you don't know, I'm a personal branding strategist. I am obsessed with helping women, as well as men, um, secure and optimize their personal branding so they can leverage it in business. And if you don't know, your personal branding is actually the projection of who you are as a person, is everything that people experience from you, is what people have to say about you, it is your reputation. So the question is always, how do people experience you? What is their experience when they interact with you? And that, my friend, is your personal branding. So in business, that is super, super important. So it's so important for us to control those messages and actually use them to our advantage, which is why I am here today to speak to, again, mostly I uh, work with professional women. So I have a special message for them on today. And this has actually been on my mind all week. I've had some amazing, amazing, amazing coaching sessions with clients. They're spending multiple hours just getting in there, excavating what's going on in their mind, uh, what their goals, intentions, desires, ideas for business are. And how do we make those happen? How do we achieve those? Because we can't actually achieve anything by just merely thought. Uh, there has to be actions to follow, but the thought is where it all begins. And oftentimes there's a block on those thoughts. There's a block on those intentions. And for some reason this morning, I was super, super heavy just thinking, um, you know, from a coach's standpoint, what it really takes to actually access who we are as a as a as a woman, what does it really look like for us to really come and project all that we desire to project about ourselves and to stand and walk tall in who we are and the gifts that we have? What does it really take? What is required of us? And what's interesting is I just kept having this thought in my mind is go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. Um, and from that standpoint, I'll explain what that means in just a second, but I like to reference, I, have, I do have a background in marine biology. That was my, my, uh, my schooling degree. And that actually is what led to the 15 years I spent in research science, which actually is a huge, plays a huge role in what I do as a coach today. It's what has aided my analytical thinking and my ability to see what most people don't see, pay attention to the details and such. So with a, so with a, let's just call it a, let's see. Let's see, what, from a masterminding standpoint, we're, okay, I'm at a loss of the word. What is it? We're, I'm admonishing you to, we'll call it our affirmation. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. But from an affirmation standpoint, the thought is to go deeper, dive deeper. So with that being said, I think my tip for today is, especially for women, I noticed that sometimes we like to dwell and kind of hang around the surface when it comes to really cracking into who we are. Uh, we can be guilty, being a little bit masochistic. We spend all our time interacting, engaging, pushing into um, and pouring into other people. But what does that leave for ourselves? Um, and in order to go deeper, the time has to be spent. The value has to be seen and the commitment has to be made to do so. And by dive deeper um, and going deeper, Again, that's what I do when I work with my clients, coaching them. We start on the personal development level and we dig into who you are as a person. The question is, who are you as a person? What are your innate gifts and talents? And for most of us, we have everything we need to be successful, to be fully ourselves and to have that realized, but we don't know how to access it. We can only access part parts of it. And the other thing is, the other issue I find that's really neat, and that's why I really love to do what I do, is we don't know how to connect the dots. A lot of who we are started when we were younger. It's like a, a thread, a gold thread woven into uh, the, the tapestry of our lives, so to speak. It is who we are, and we don't realize it. So I always tell my clients, I'm like, you know, gems aren't just laying around. Oftentimes you have to dig for the precious stones. You know, if you want a pearl, you got to dig for that. You know, you got to dive and, and dig deep and find those elements within ourselves. And I believe that is not to a large degree. Our confidence is linked to really being sure of who we are as a people or as a person. 
as a woman, but when we don't take the time to explore, disconnection happens. And when we're disconnected, it's so hard to really try to convince other people who we are because we don't know ourselves. So my tip again today is dive deep into who you are. Whether you get coaching, which I always recommend, it's always great to have someone come alongside, hold your hand, take you through on an expert tip to understand who you are and become who you're to become in business. Aside from that, get those goal friends, people that are, help you stay accountable to your goals and achieving who you are to help bring out the best in you. Make sure you have family surrounding you. All those elements help to pour into you and help you go deeper, help you, um, you know, you spiritually want to get connected and find out who you are from that, that standpoint, go deeper to who you're, who you are. From my standpoint, I always uh, love to think about the creator, God, my ability to get deep and understand who I am is connected to my understanding of who he is and who he created me to be. So that's an important element in my life in particular. Um, it's one that's aided me greatly. So again, so I don't go over my time slide for today, just go deeper. That is my recommendation. That's my encouragement. That is my plea to you. Go deeper. There is more to you than meets the eye. There is way more of you beneath the surface. And if you need help doing so, I am here to do that, to help you. So on that note, have a wonderful day. Keep your head up, princess. You know, you are the queen, princess. And uh, just know that um, amazing things are definitely yours to have. And you are an amazing person. And don't be afraid to walk in that. Take care. Bye.